pie today. Have you ever heard of Kool-Aid pie? It's good and it's easy. You can whip up this pie. It's just as fast. If it's a real busy day and you need a dessert really fast, this is what you want. And so of course you'll need some Kool-Aid and you can choose whatever flavor you want. I'm going to do black cherry, but you, uh, the orange is really good. Um, and just whatever color, color you want and flavor you want. Okay, so you'll need two packages of Kool-Aid. You'll need a carton of Cool Whip. You'll need some cream cheese, softened. You can either put it in the microwave for a couple seconds or you can just leave it on your counter. You need a can of the con sweetened condensed milk. And then you will need a crust. And I'm going to do the graham cracker crust. When you do a graham cracker crust, you need about um, a block of it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, like I said, to make your crust, you'll just need about one block of those um, packages of these uh, graham crackers. You'll need about two tablespoons of sugar, and then you'll need about two tablespoons, and I'm using salted butter, okay? And you just mix this all together. If you watch very many of my videos, you'll see that I don't use graham cracker crust very often. I prefer to use uh, crushed pecans and then uh, toast it, and I have a recipe for that. But anyway, with this, this pie, we it is better with a graham cracker crust. Just some things are, and this is one thing. Okay, so we've got that all mixed up pretty good, and I'm going to press it. Now, you can either put this in the freezer for, uh, you know, 10 or so minutes, or you can even toast it just for a little while if you want to. It just kind of makes it kind of stay together easier when you go to pour, uh, cut it. But I am in a huge hurry today, so I am not going to go do neither. Okay, I'm going to put that to the side, and I'm going to get my cream cheese, and I am going to cream it just for a minute, just for a few seconds, okay? That didn't take long. When it's soft, it goes really fast. Okay, so but you just didn't want any hunks in there. So we're going to pour in our condensed milk, and then we're going to pour in about three fourths of our Cool Whip. We want to keep a little bit of the Cool Whip to um, for the top, and this spoon is too big to fit in there. Let me get another one. And then we're going to put, uh, like I said, half, half, uh, three, about three fourths of that Cool Whip in there, and then your, we're two, our two um, uh, Kool Aids. This is a good summer recipe. People like these kind of recipes, and when it's hot. Okay, there's our cool, uh, condensed milk, and. I'm going to go back to this other wooden spoon because it's my favorite. I love this spoon. It's about half wore out. but Now, I'm going to use some cherries on top. Just the... Um... I thought I had some with the stem, but I didn't. But I'm just going to use these right here. Um... Or if you wanted to do an orange one, you could just you could buy those... Um mandarin oranges and that's really good in there but seems like my favorite kool-aid flavor is this black cherry well there we go pour that in there and you can save just a tiny tiny sprinkle you don't want a lot but just like, I'm going to empty this package, but I know there's a few granules in there. 
I'm going to save that for the top. Okay? All right, we're going to mix this together. Okay, we've got that mixed together, and we're going to be done with these beaters. We can even give it a little test taste. Mmm. Now, some people make this dessert without the, um, some people make this dessert without cream cheese. They just do it with the, uh, Cool Whip condensed milk and Kool-Aid, but I like the, um, the cream cheese in there. It just adds so much and it's not any harder to add it. Okay, let's put our filling in here. When you put this in the ice, the ice box or refrigerator, you will, it'll firm back up because of the cream cheese in there too. And of course that's sweetened condensed milk. This is an excellent uh, dessert for a gathering that's uh, maybe a fellowship, something you're going to do at your church or a um, funeral dinner, just something that you have to make really quick. Okay, I'm going to spread this around till it's smooth. like to make mine all the way to the edge because I like the graham crackers to um, show a little bit. Okay, let me get another spoon and put the Cool Whip on here. Just really in the middle is what I'm going to do. I don't even want to spread that to the edge. I think it's kind of pretty when you just kind of have a, you can see the layers. Okay, that's why you just need about a fourth of that or maybe a third. Okay, and then if you were whatever fruit flavor you're going to use, if you want to sprinkle, if you want to put some fruit on there, I'm going to use, I'm just going to put one cherry right in the middle. I wish these had a stem. It would be so much prettier. But just right there in the middle like that. And then I'm going to take the excess that I know that there's a little bit left in here. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on here. Just kind of like a dusting. And that's it. See how easy that was? And we've got a beautiful Kool-Aid pie. I'm gonna take this over to Christopher and Kennedy's tonight and we'll have a bite. Maybe I'll wait to put the video up until we cut it and you can see how we cut it. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do a, a little piece. So we got a lot of people to feed here. Well, uh, Joan said that is one piece. Is what he said. That's what he said, that's right. <laughs> That looks like pink cake. Mm -hmm. It's called black cherry Kool-Aid pie. You want me to just give him a sliver? So give him one about. What's your like honest your review? Yeah. What do you think, babe? It's kind of like Jello with icing, maybe. I don't know how. Is it strawberry? It's like a cheese cut off. Is it strawberry? Because it tastes it's like It's cherry, salt. but. It's good. Is that too big? That's perfect. Okay, Papa.
Let's let's see what he thinks about it. If it's sugar, he's probably just gonna love it, isn't he? <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. See you next time.